What's the matter, man? You you ain't feeling it when you see this car, man? Yeah. What's the deal with the car, man? Totally stripped out. Well, let's show me how it's totally stripped out. What's going on with it? No what? No. So what? Who cares about the carpet, no, bro? No seats. Well, why do you have to carry around the back seat for, bro? <laughs> Dude, he's got a stock steering wheel. He's got uh, go. heat, Doctor. airbags. You got air conditioning, everything, bro. Nice. You got air conditioning in yours? Yeah, I got air conditioning. All right, let's go take a look at your car, man. Nice. Bro, it's a car, bro. Come on, man. You got over 100 horsepower more than him. Let's be sporting, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's good to see you, bro. Oh, Thanks for coming. How long did you drive on that car and pump gas? Hour and a half. That's impressive. So you heard about the action? You wanted to come down and see if you could <laughs> dispatch yet another Evo? Dispatch? <laughs> dispatch. <laughs> Terminate. Terminate? Yeah. Pump gas termination? Yeah, pump gas termination. <laughs> um, uh... Uh, why don't you take a look at the uh, the competition here and tell me what you think? All right, let's go have ahead, a look. go check it out, man. All right, let's have a look. Go ahead, after you. Nice paint job. That's for sure. It'd be like you know, an extra ten miles an hour faster. All yeah. right. It's a nice looking car, no? Yeah, this looks like my girlfriend. Take a look at this. We got his dyno sheet versus uh, your dyno sheet up on the screen here for comparison. Yours is at. 30 pounds of boost, his is at 43 pounds of boost. Beautiful. Yours is on pump gas, his is on race gas. Race them on your pump gas map, I'm right? Race uh, this beautiful car on pump gas. Get an idea of uh, exactly what's going on with this. Uh, so, you want to set a standard for what you could do on your race for, gas? Uh, race gas. Okay. So, he's going to race you on pump gas. Pump gas. 93 octane. I'm going to say that on confidence level, you. You, I think you got the ultimate in confidence, man, in the Busher products. You're really confident. I mean, for you, the race is already won. <laughs> race preparations. Uh, I think you're going to take the laptop out of the car, huh? Don't need it for the race. Game over, bro. Look at that. That's Busher power. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Anytime, anywhere. The guy, David, the, I'm telling you the story. The guy... Saw the guy shark bite was coming to the dyno. He got his car. He drove 200 miles again all the way around Long Island to come out to Connecticut to meet up on the dyno and he's ready to race. Still on the same tank of pump gas, man. He had his car out in Ohio on uh, Sunday to get tuned after he got the Dream of Innovations manifold installed. Then he drove back to us to get the car in the dyno. He was racing last night, being down some of the fastest street racing cars in Connecticut. Beat everybody. Drives home to Long Island. Comes back here to beat this guy. Demolishes him in the first race. And sadly, the AMS car is not able to compete further. The TV show Blacks. Uh, I'm not going to get your face, but would you would you acknowledge that the Busher car in the round number one beat you? Yes, with my ass. Congratulations, you've won round number one. Now we have a misfire, so we're going to fix the misfire. We're going to take the spark plugs out. Would you give him 15 minutes to repair his car? <laughs> I'll give him all night long. Wow, that's very sporting of you. That's very sporting of you. <laughs> I got it. It was good. It was good. It was good. It's good, but I just like. As soon as I started, I mean, as soon as we hit it and I just started pulling, I was like, something's up with this car. Oh. But you said they, they, they should have expected you to hit hard. You weren't like road racing or anything. You were just, just one just, pull. Just rolling on the throttle. Roll on, roll on race. Yeah, and that was it. It didn't even finish the race, sadly. It wasn't even a race. It was getting on a ramp. It's very, will you shine this light on this man? Because I'm, I'm fucking like, confused. Beep, beep, beep. What's going on? Well, right there. This cylinder over here, the one on the end, this cylinder over here, it's wet, right? Like it's not lighting, right? This cylinder is it says good compression, but this cylinder over here, this one right here, it has very low compression, the cylinder. Are you serious? Yeah. It's a shark bite. We have another problem here that we just noticed. You found it, bro. It looks like the connector's not sitting properly and stuff. They actually tried the silicone in there. There's no connectors on this. Very well, there's, no, uh, there's no, uh, there's no connector on any of the primary. I'm, I'm, gonna zip, I'm gonna zip them down. Well, pop the other ones off so they can see. Yeah, see, they're, they're, they're fucking all those. All right, How about the bitch? Yeah. You are the representative of the Shark Bite team. You're the negotiator for the Shark Bite team. Mr. Villanova, you are the representative for the Pete team. We found the problem. Pete gave you an unlimited amount of time to repair your errors to your car, and now you fixed it. 
Now we're going to go for round number two. What is this, pinks? What conditions would you like? This is blacks. Oh, blacks. What condition would you like for round number two? Negotiate, guys. I don't know. He's the driver. You got to ask up. Bro, you're the fucking negotiator, bro. Didn't you ever watch the show? Hey, I can see the first They're race. You a cheeseburger, right? No cheese. Hamburger. <laughs> Hold on. Whatever this guy listen, listen. I'm going to throw you both off the show. You're both going to lose your rides you. if you don't start negotiating in good faith. All right. Okay? Heads up. Heads up. Right? Heads up. Whatever, man. From a dig on, on State Street? No, no dig. Let him go on the road. Let him This car too fast for eighth of a mile. Okay. All right. It's from a dig? Yeah, go from a dig. All right. You both agree? No, let's go for a roll, man. Let's let's go roll. roll. From a roll? It's cold out. You're not going to hope. Same place. Let's from a roll. roll. Go from a roll. 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 From a roll. Same place. Why kill the car on State Street? Kill somebody at the end. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, right I, I don't think we should go to the same place. Let's go to another place. Mm -hmm. Down the highway down here. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're locked in for round number two. Agreed? We're in. Agreed. Teamwork. Teamwork. Locked in. Thank God we, we were able to solve the problems with your car so quickly. Thanks to Master George, because I swear to God, I was so fucking depressed. I was ready to kill myself to see you. You, you was depressed? <laughs> no, no, to see you, you with depressed. the guy. If, God forbid, if anything was wrong with this fucking car and you could have raced this guy and beat him, I would be so fucking depressed, I would kill myself, bro. <laughs> you were. Oh, what the fuck is And the idle, engine's idling high, too. It's in the transmission. Sounds like a transfer case. You didn't even hit it. Oh, you didn't even hit it. Not good. That in competition number two, you've lost you to the Busher card due to a disqualification. Disqualification. My car's not acting right. Okay. You've won round number two. Congratulations. We have one round left, which will be round number three. I don't think there's going to be a round number three. This shit is acting too fucked up. Well, I think that we can fix it, man. We fixed the injector problem. Now we have an erratic high idle problem. Make sure to blow an intake gasket somewhere. What? Backfire. Make sure to blow an intake manifold gasket suck in there. No, I don't know. I don't think that would be the problem. Uh, but the noise is from the tranny. No, but it's only making the noise when the car is idling high, I think. I mean, I didn't feel, I hit it a little bit. I didn't feel nothing in the transmission grind. I didn't even hit it for the transmission to break. <coughs> I didn't hit it. You know, I didn't power shift. Yeah, I didn't. Fine. What? The fine. Yeah, yeah everything's I'm fine. I'm just saying the noise. The car was idling, idling fast for a little while. Is the PCV actually hooked up? Or no. Blow off? No, it's not hooked up. Let's get a light over here, please. Trouble light. Push your car. It's no joke, right? No joke. Let me ask you a question. You left Ohio. You drove all the way over here. You drove out to Long Island. You drove back. You drove all over. Drove to any, here twice. Any problems? Never. Raced a couple of times. All right, here we go. Diagnostic number two. Master Angel. What have you found, Master? Oh, the throttle body. The spring. Fucking fucked up. Yeah. Car's not idling. That's why the car's not idling. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to go bad, you know. Go. You just went for riding the pump gas. I'm not getting your face, right? Pump gas, busher, car. Shit feels like a motorcycle. My shit feels like a pig. Wow. Shit pulls up the by the way, my shit feels like by the way, Mr. Sharkbite. Shit feels like a pig. Mr. Sharkbite, this is just a formality at this point, but you've lost two challenges in blacks all out this evening, and now you. You you are unable to race. Yes. So do you acknowledge that Mr. Bad Bish has won the race? Beat my ass. Mr. Bad Bish, congratulations. Second question is Well, I'm I can't not, even say beat my ass because my car wasn't capable. Okay. It won't allow you. It right. won't allow me to kick some ass. That's regrettable. I just want to say this. Now so the bad bish on pump gas is like a motorcycle, you're saying. Exactly. Dude, I was impressed with Busher. The first time I let Busher work I'm on impressed. my Evo, I was impressed too. I'm man. impressed. I'm impressed. Yo, you are the champion of Connecticut, bro. You've beaten everybody. Congratulations. You win the, the Blacks All Out Championship of the state of Connecticut. That's punk